Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make the beaded chevron necklace and this is what they look like. I know I haven't had a tutorial in a while, so here's one right now. And these are fairly simple to make, but you do need a lot of supplies. So um, let's get started on materials. You're going to need one eye pin. And that's what, like, just that, like a loop. And then you're going to need a let, sorry, it's not focusing. <laughs> you're going to need 11 head pins. A head pin just has a flat tip. Okay. You're going to need 11 of those and only one eye pin. You're going to need two jump rings and one lobster claw clasp. You're going to need some chain. I just have this bead landing chain. You're going to need some 11 aught seed beads. Um, I like it when you do like um, dark and light, like I did here. This one it's kind of hard to tell because I don't have any darks, it's all lights. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this black, this blue, and then one of these, like so kind of like enhances it and you can really see the arrows you're gonna need um, three colors of seed beads you could do more but this is the pattern I learned um, from so craftastic so yeah you might also want some eight aught seed beads um, eights are a little bit bigger than elevens um, so that would be an 11, the black, and then the pink would be an 8. Like, the only you would be putting those in between all your little loops. Those are all 8s, and that's an 11. So, I used 8s because my loop, I make my loops really big, but if you make your small, like, um, So Craftastic made her loops small, and, like, she put seed beads in between, and they were 11s, but mine are 8. I put 8s because I make my loops pretty big, as you can see, like, compared to, compared to, like, see, that loop's big compared to, um, this little loop that comes on the eye pin. And like, yeah, because I, I use, like, the middle of my, um, pliers. So, so eight, if you make big loops like me, you need um, eight dots, eight dots seed beads. I got mine online because I they don't sell them in stores. Lastly, you will need a pair of wire cutters and some round nose pliers. Also, you could use flat nose pliers to um, really close up the loop. But I have these little things, those little circular circular dents, where I can just like crimp that and it like stays together so wire cutters and round those pliers I know it's a lot of materials but yeah it comes out to a really beautiful necklace so let's get started on making it before we start to make it I'm going to explain the pattern so what I did, well, what So Craftastic did, and I just followed that, and it turns out really good. You can create your own pattern, but I like the way this one is. So you take the first head pin, and you're going to add four of each color seed beads. And then you take the second, add four of those each colors, and then add two of the first color. And then same four of each of the colors, add four of the first color and then four and then six and then four four of each and then eight and then four of each and then ten and then back to eight if you get the pattern I'll, I'll explain it more while we're putting on the seed beads okay so what I did here was I added four I have three colors and I had four seed beads of each color so one two three four silver and then one two three four blue and then one two three four gold so that's what you're gonna do for your first head pin oh and by the way um the head pins are two inches you don't want to use three and waste a lot so yeah that's the first head pin now we're going to take the second head pin 
and add the same do the same thing we did here with the four of each color okay so I did the same thing and I added four of each of my colors but now you take your first color I have gray or silver and I'm gonna take two just two and uh, put those on oh, that's a white I'm gonna take two and put that on okay and that's the second head pin okay so for the third head pin again I added my four of each color and now instead of adding two gray or my first color to the top I'm going to add four because you go up two each time so one two not that <laughs> three and four okay so now for the next one I'm going to add again the four of each color and then I'm gonna add six okay so this is the fourth head pin I have four of each color and then I have six of my first color and now for the next one I my fifth head pin I am going to do again the four of each and then eight of my first color okay so here is the fifth head pin four of each and then eight of the first color and now again I'm gonna do four of each and then I'm gonna do ten of the first color so here's the sixth head pin and four of each and then ten of the first color and now we're gonna go back down so we just did 10 and then we're going to do 8 and then 6 and then 4 and then 2 and then none. So I'm basically just going to remake an, more, one of each. of. I'm going to make another 8, another 6, another 4, another 2, and another of the none. And it's just going to be 1 with the 10. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I finished up the rest. And I did four of each, and then eight, four of each, and then six, four of each, then four, four of each, and then two, and then four of each. So, yeah, now I'm going to make the loops for each. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the loops. These are the loops I already did. And now I'm going to show you how to do it these actually one more okay so I'm gonna start with the smallest so you're I forgot to mention you're also gonna need a ruler but since I have a cutting mat I'm going to use that so I take this and then I'm gonna line my bead up at the zero inch mark and then I'm gonna um, Gonna take my round nose pliers. Sorry, gotta move this a bit. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna take my round nose pliers, make sure that's at the zero, and I'm going to bend it at three eighths of an inch, like that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's one, two, three. So it's a, a bit more than a quarter of an inch. If you have a ruler with sixteenths, then it's six, six, six sixteenths. So yeah, and I like to do that little bend because it makes it easier to cut it. So I'm going to take my wire cutters. I'm going to cut at that bend. Okay, and now I have a tutorial on this, so if this isn't um, helpful, then go check that out. I'll link it either here or in the description bar. So we're going to take it like that much away, like a, as if there was another bead there, and we're going to put our pliers there. Then we're going to bend at a 90 degree angle, then grab the tip with like a 
about here and or if you want a bigger loop then you can grab more towards the middle but I'm just gonna grab here and I'm having a little bit of tough time because I'm doing this through the camera and then I'm just gonna roll like that then grab and roll into the loop and now I'm gonna grab that tip all the way might make that a bit bigger Yeah, I don't like this loop that I made. I made the wire a bit too um, long, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so I fixed that, and now I'm going to finish closing off my loop. So I'm just going to keep bending and twisting until that gets to there. And now I'm going to straighten it out. So I have these little loop holders that I'm just going to put that in if it would focus and if I could see okay and then I'm just gonna move it and that's as straight as it can go and I'm gonna show you one more time so I did my bend and I cut it and now I'm gonna go 90 degrees grab the tip and roll it back so it's like a hook and then I'm gonna grab it and close it okay and then I'm just gonna adjust it and yeah so if you still don't understand that um Go check my tutorial, link will be in the description bar. And I think I I might have annotationed it earlier, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna finish looping the rest of those and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, so I looped all of those and now what I'm gonna do is add on a seed beat. Like, okay, so. I'm going to take my eye pen and then I'm going to add on one of these 11 aught seed beads. So I'm taking my gold and then I'm going to put it on. That one doesn't fit. So there. Putting that on and then I'm going to take my first this one, the one with just four of each. And then I'm going to slide that on. So it's like that. And now I'm going to slide on a gray or silver. And then I'm going to slide on the next one. And that's the one with the two gray at the top. Yeah, I'm using 11s for this because I don't have gray um, A dots. So if I had blue at the top, I'd do the 8, but I don't. So, And now, I'm, again, I'm going to add on a gray. And then I'm going to add on the next one, which is the 4. Okay, so it's like that. And now I'm going to continue with that pattern. Now I have my last two. So I'm going to add on one of my silvers, or gray, whatever it is. And then I'm going to add on the one with the two gray. Sorry, it's not focusing. And then I'm going to add on another gray. And then my last one, which is um, four of each. And then 
I'm going to add on a gold because it's gold here and I made my loops a little big so there and now I'm gonna make a loop so I'm gonna do the same thing measure um, see I want this kind of loose but tight if you know what I mean so it's like that and then I'm gonna measure three-eighths of an inch and then I'm gonna make my loop so this is sort of difficult to do on camera so bear with me <clears throat> okay so I cut um, my wire and now I'm just gonna make a loop so yeah I'm gonna bend at 90 degrees and then grab the tip and roll it back and grab it and roll so there okay and there you go and now I'm going to show you how to attach the chain. Okay, so I cut my chain. It's about 17 inches, and I just uh, like the way it fit around my neck. That's just how I measure. Like, I'll take it and put it around my neck to see if I like the length. So what I'm going to do is take, um, like, my chain has is basically a bunch of loops connected, so... I just take my pliers and I open up my loop and then I just put it on. I attach it like that to my um, to my pendant or arrow. Okay. And then I just close it up and I have to make sure closed really good else it's gonna come off so yeah that's pretty good and then I take the other end and I do the same thing I open it and put it on Okay, so I cut my chain. It's about 17 inches, and I just uh, like the way it fit around my neck. That's just how I measure. Like, I'll take it and put it around my neck to see if I like the length. So, what I'm going to do is take, um, like, my chain has is basically a bunch of loops connected. So, I just take my pliers, and I open up my loop and then I just put it on I attach it like that to my um, to my pendant or arrow okay and then I just close it up and I have to make sure it's closed really good else it's gonna come off so yeah that's pretty good and then I take the other end and I do the same thing I open it and put it on okay so I attach that to my other half and you might think, like, what do I'm, what am I going to do with the class? Well, that's what I do now. I fold it. Well, since I know exactly where the half is, and it is right here, I just fold it in half, cut that, and attach my clasp. So I'm going to take my wire cutters and just cut that. Should come right off. And now I am going to take my jump ring 
open it, put on my clasp, and then since I'm a lefty, I put it on my left, but um, if you're righty, then put it on the right side. So there, and then I just take it and close that there and then I open that the other one and attach it there make sure it's uh closed pretty good because these do fall off a lot so I'm just gonna close it so there Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped. And here is all my. This one I actually didn't include a class because or a class because I did not have time, and it actually just fit over my head. And then this one I made for my mom for Mother's Day. So yeah, I like this one a lot, and I like the one I made. But it that one took a long time because the black beads I have um, are just not like good like they take they're small they're smaller than the others so I just did gray but I like it <clears throat> so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh, don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna have a contest at 3,000 subscribers I just need 200 more so yeah yeah bye guys